All right, coming at you from the home studio. I'm trying to air pods today too, so you'll have to hear me breathing a lot more, which I'm sure will be amazing. Um, this one's a little shorter to try to decrease the chances of me getting interrupted here. Um, so we're gonna take this down to the floor um, on hands and knees. Uh, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and go ahead and exhale to round that spine towards the ceiling. And inhale to round that, or bring that spine back down towards the floor. Bring those hip bones together, round that spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, spine to the floor, open up those sit bones, let those hips sink in the socket. Femur heads come forward in the joint. And sink back in the socket. Two more. Exhale here. And inhale to bring that spine down towards the floor. So maybe bring your knees a little bit closer together. You're going to float that right foot. And just swing that right foot right and left. So the femur is spinning in the socket there. And nothing else really should be moving until now. So now go ahead and let that pelvis kind of drift a little bit with with the femur and then you can actually start to glance over that shoulder see if you can find find that foot this one's called tail wag should be obvious if you have a really sticky mat it's kind of annoying okay go ahead and put that set foot down sit back on those heels for a second or calves Come back up to that hands and knees position. Find that spot where you're not too far down towards the floor, too far up towards the ceiling, kind of in the middle there. Float that other leg, other foot, knees still on the ground. And keeping everything else stable, just go ahead and spin that femur so your foot goes right and left. And then you can start to let the pelvis swing with it. And then look over your shoulder, see if you can find that foot, letting the spine side bend. And come back to center, go ahead and give me a couple more cat cows, cat camels. And then with that spine rounded towards the ceiling, go ahead and press that back onto your heels. All right, come on to see, seated for me about shoulder width apart hands out in front you're stacked up against that imaginary wall on your exhale peel yourself off that wall reach those hands over those feet keeping the arms parallel to the floor little inhale here exhale to stack her right back up relatively anchored through those sit bones on that exhale reach those arms forward right those hands forward and in Inhale to stack back up, which is a different breathing sequence than I gave you the last time. Um, I like to exhale both ways, but you can exhale to reach forward and inhale to stack right back up. Let's do two more. This is spine stretch forward. And on this last one, give me a little inhale here. Exhale, see if you can reach a little bit further. Inhale here. Exhale, see if you can give me a little bit more. And one more. And stack her right back up. Okay, go ahead and turn to face the screen. And you're going to have your feet shifted off to um, what will be your right, I guess. Um, in this cheerleader Z sit, we'll have hand on the ground, one arm towards the ceiling, inhale into that. Uh, it'll be your right side, I guess. And you can slide that bottom hand. Give me a little side bend here. Inhale the stacker right back up. Let's do two more. See if you can really keep both sit bones anchored into the ground. And then on this last one, we'll add some rotation. Rotate that chest towards the floor. And then away from the floor. And towards the floor. And away. Come back to center, inhale the stack back up. Give me one more to this opposite side. Okay, so from here, we are gonna to transition to be facing the other way. So your feet will stay anchored to the floor. Well, anchored, they'll kind of 
flip from pinky toe to pinky toe side, but the knees are gonna float up. <laughs> See if you can come to Z-sit on the other side. And if you need to kind of place hands down to make that happen, that's totally fine. Working towards keeping those hands off the floor. I apparently um, am migrating. Okay, so once your knees are facing the other way, if you wanna spin to face the camera you can, or the screen, um, go ahead and place the opposite hand down on the floor. Reach the other arm up towards the ceiling. You're gonna inhale into the what'll be the top side and slide that bottom hand away from you. You can bend that elbow if you need to. And then come on back up, but really trying to keep this um, sit bone with the arms up towards the ceiling reaching towards the ground if it is not touching the ground. And we'll do this last one. And then go ahead and rotate to get that chest towards the floor, towards the ceiling, towards the floor, towards the ceiling, towards the floor one last time. Bring that top hand towards the floor. You're gonna bring those knees underneath you and come into a down dog here and then press that into a plank and then back into a down dog. Bend the left knee, reach the right heel towards the floor and then switch for me. Try to keep the pelvis level. We don't want the pelvis drifting, either side bending, hiking or rotating. Go back to that right side, reach long through that right heel. And the left side. Reach long through both heels. And you're gonna come into a plank position for me and lower your body down towards the floor. Okay, from here, hover that face off the, off the mat, tip your bone into the floor. Really try to stay nice and long through that low back. Arms can be near your shoulders, near your ears, but on that exhale, reach those shoulder blades towards your pelvis and press here towards toe up off the floor. Bend those elbows to come right back down. So depending on your range of motion into extension, it's kind of where you're gonna to wanna to place your hands. If your body doesn't love to extend, 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 you can keep your hands a little bit higher. But I would like you to have those elbows straight for me. And then just keep checking in with that, with that low back. We don't wanna, you know, just let that low back sag. Um, so you can really press through those hands to kind of help engage through the bottom of that rib cage, low back. All right, from here, reach those arms overhead. In the studio, the ground's pretty slippery. I'm on the carpet here, so. Glide those shoulder blades towards your pelvis to come into a met swan. And we're gonna do that one more time. Hold on this last one. And then go ahead and reach those arms forward to let those feet come up. And then you can pull those hands back towards your body. Two more. From here, go ahead and round that spine towards the ceiling. Press yourself back into a little child's pose, prayer pose for me. Okay, we're gonna go into a side lying position. Um, I'm gonna cue top side, bottom side, so it doesn't really matter what side you're lying on. Go ahead, bend those knees and with the bottom of your feet in line with your torso, you can prop the head up, lower it down onto that bottom arm. From here, keeping your feet together, just go ahead and inhale that knee towards the ceiling, exhale to lower right back down. Trying to keep that pelvis stacked. So these are clams. It's a little uh, glute retrainer, used a lot in PT in the rehab world. I'm gonna ramp it up a little bit. So go ahead and just hover 
that foot um, above the other one. And so you can give me a little uh, clam action without those feet touching. And ideally, that foot's not moving shy of rotating just a little bit. All right, from here, go ahead, straighten that top leg. I'm gonna have you bring it out in front, then we'll go ahead and rotate that knee towards the floor, and then back up towards the ceiling. You may have more rotation than I do. You may wanna go into a little bit more hip flexion than I am. My hamstring starts to yell at me if I go too far forward. Bring that top leg in line with your body, and then go ahead and give me that thigh, top of the thigh to the floor, top of the thigh towards the ceiling, kneecap to floor, kneecap to ceiling. It's not just at the foot though. I don't even know if you can see my foot, I hope you can. And then we'll go back behind us a little bit. When you're in some hip extension, you may have a different range of motion with the rotation. Good. Go ahead and bend that top leg, pound out that hip as you need to. We're gonna go ahead and roll onto your back. And I'm gonna have you give me some bridging. On that exhale, tip that pubic bone towards your nose, flatten that spine towards the floor. Little in, peel up to about the bottom of the rib cage. Little inhale, exhale to come right back down. Inhale to the bottom, exhale to peel up. Bottom of the rib cage again. And then come on right back down. We'll take this next one up to bottom of the shoulder blades. Little inhale here, exhale to peel right back down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale bottom of the shoulder blades, and back down. Go ahead and give me one more. This one is going up to the top of the shoulder blades. I lied on that one more. Come on right back down. Mid top of the shoulder blades again. And exhale to come back down. And then pause when you're down on this one. Straighten the right leg, grab behind that left thigh. Go ahead and straighten that left knee as much as you can. If you need to bend the, the right leg, you can too. A little bit more of a stretch when you're straightening it. And then give me a point and flex on that left, left leg there. And let's go ahead, put that left ankle on your right knee. And then you're gonna reach through and grab that right thigh, stretching through here, somewhere, left glute, sometimes left hamstring. And you can actually push your right knee into your left ankle and your left ankle into your right knee to kind of zap that glute a little bit more. Lower that foot down, straighten both legs, grab behind that right thigh. Go ahead and reach that right knee straight and point and flex that right ankle. If you're having any zings, don't go crazy with this range of motion or you can bend your knee a little bit. And bend that left knee, right ankle, left knee. Reach through, grab that left thigh. And again, if you wanna press right leg into left knee to give that a little bit better of a stretch you can. Lower that left leg down, reach both legs long. Roll over to your other side. I'm gonna flip in so I'm facing you. Again, bottom arm, you can prop your head up, lie straight, tuck here. If you wanna grab a pillow or something, you can do that. Bend those knees, bottom of the feet are gonna be in line with the torso, ideally. And to start off with, just go ahead and rotate the leg so that the top knee is going towards the ceiling without rocking the pelvis backwards. You can press down a little bit with that bottom knee to give yourself a little bit more stability. And then go ahead and hover that top leg. I inhale, knee to the ceiling, exhale to the floor, but I don't think the breath pattern 
has a huge effect on the stability or enhancement of this knee injury. Go ahead and straighten that top leg and reach that leg out in front of you. You need to pick how far and rotate that kneecap towards the floor, towards the ceiling. I probably have about 90 degrees of motion here, maybe. Total. Bring that leg in line with your torso. And then reach that leg, whoops, behind you. And then go ahead and bring that knee back in. You can pound out that hip for me. Okay, go ahead and roll onto your back. You're gonna bring one knee in towards your chest, reach the other one out long. And exhale, switch. Head, neck, and shoulders can be up off the ground, or you can leave them down on the ground. Bring both knees into chest, lower that down. Reach one leg long, grab behind the calf on the other leg. Use that leg to float head, neck, and shoulders. And switch. For a single leg stretch. One we just did, this one single straight leg stretch. Knees to chest, hands behind head. Lower that head down if you like, reach one leg long. You're gonna go armpit to opposite knee and switch for crisscross here. And then both knees to chest, roll yourself up into sitting. And we will do rolling like a ball. Go ahead and float those feet. You're gonna bring hands to shins. You can go down lower to ankles if you want, but you're gonna push your legs into your hand, your hands into your legs. Go ahead, tip that pubic bone towards your nose slightly. Exhale to rock back. And inhale to pop back up. A couple of options with the breathing pattern. You can exhale through the whole thing like I just did. Or you can take a sniffing breath at the back and pop yourself right back up. Reach those legs long. From here, arms out in front for roll up. Tip that pubic bone towards your nose. Roll yourself on back. Inhale overhead. Exhale to roll right back up. Little inhale here. Exhale, roll right back down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale to roll right back up. Let's do one more. And then pause at the top. All right, we're going to take this um, to teaser. So for a teaser, we're going to start in sitting. Oftentimes we start on the ground, but go ahead and you can float both legs to a sort of a tabletop position. Reach those arms in the direction of your feet, roll back down onto your back. On that exhale, you're gonna sweep those hands towards your hips and roll up into that teaser position. Little inhale here, exhale to roll right back down. Exhale to roll up. And come on right back down, two more. And we're gonna pause in sitting on this last one. Or sitting, V-sit, whatever this is. Reach those arms out behind you. Lower those feet towards the ground. We are gonna go into hip circles, which will require a little bit more room. So hip circles can be done with elbows straight and hands on the floor, or you can go into a bent elbow. Um, I'm gonna do straight elbows today. So go ahead, bend both knees. Reach those feet towards the ceiling. You're gonna exhale down one side, inhale up the other, and switch. And switch. Pelvis can roll a little bit, but ideally the rib cage and rest of the torso stay relatively still. 
hand, last half one, come back to middle, bend knees, rotate those legs side to side as needed. Okay, we're gonna do roll over. Um, if you have glaucoma, high blood pressure, dizziness, um, there's one more, I'll put it in the notes. Um, neck pain, avoid this one. Um, I am gonna add the instructions for the legs um, onto this one. So roll yourself onto your back. You can take this one from legs flat on the floor um, or a tabletop position. Make sure my shirt stays in place. Set arms at your side. They can be a little bit away from your body. Go ahead and bring those legs into tabletop for me. We're going to start with ankles pointed, legs together. On that exhale, straighten those legs. Peel up one vertebrae at a time until those legs are ideally parallel to the floor. Bring them shoulder width apart, flex those ankles, and you're going to control that all the way back down. Legs together, point the ankles. Exhale to come up and over. Shoulder width apart, flex ankles. Control that right back down. We're going to reverse this. Um, ankles are flexed and shoulder width apart to come through from there, feet together, point those ankles, come on right back down, feet apart, flex the ankles, exhale to come through, feet together, ankles pointed to come right back down. Bring those knees in towards your chest and go ahead and rock them side to side. Roll yourself up into sitting. And we're going to do some plank to side plank and a roll down. And you will be done for this little blip, which I'm hoping is 15 to 20 minutes long, but we'll see. Okay. From hands and knees, go ahead and walk one foot back and then the other one. And I'm going to have you bring your feet a little wider apart, maybe shoulder width. Put your left hand in the middle of the mat. Reach that right hand towards the ceiling. You should be on big toe on one foot, little toe on the other one. Go ahead and come back down to a front plank. Right hand in the middle, left hand towards the ceiling. And then come on right back down for me. And one more to each side. From here, I'm going to have you walk your feet towards your hands. Find some length through the back of your neck. Tip that pubic bone towards your nose to roll up one vertebrae at a time. A little inhale here. On your exhale, reach those hands just in front of those feet to roll down. Tip that pubic bone towards your nose to come on back up. And we're done. Short and sweet. Hope to see you guys in studio whenever you feel it's safe for you to do so. Shoot me or Shelly an email. Um, if it's best for you to stay at home from now, it's totally fine. I will try to will really try to get these videos out. Um, but we'll see how things go. Alrighty, have a good day.